On average, the black dollar circulates for about six hours in a black community. We need to do better as a community to support black owned businesses, but that's sometimes easier said than done. Before we can support black owned businesses, we need a readily available economic search engine to be able to find those black businesses to support in our communities. The Central Black Business app is the answer to that question. The EBA is always on the community side, meeting the community's needs with easy access. Here we go again. CNN is back at it. They are trying to pressure Kenya president-elect into prioritizing LGBTQ. Let me just show you this clip, we'll come back and discuss. You yourself gained worldwide attention a few years ago when you said there was, quote, no room for homosexuality in Kenyan society. I want to know whether you still stand by that. We have um, Kenyan law, we have Kenyan constitution, we have our tradition, we have our customs. We will continue to respect other people's customs as they respect our customs and our tradition. I am very clear, I am very clear that we respect everybody and what they believe in, but we also have what we believe in and we expect to be respected for what we believe in. So before I ask you to flesh that out and what exactly does it mean, I want to play you what President Kenyatta said to me about this issue. I will not engage in a subject that is of no, it's, uh, it, it is not of any major importance to the people and the Republic of Kenya. This is not an issue as you would want to put it of um, human rights or this. This is an issue of society, of our own base as a culture, as a people, regardless of which community you come from. This is not acceptable. This is not agreeable. So he's basically saying homosexuality is not agreeable. You've just said that you're kind of trying to thread the needle, that the law says one thing, but you respect everybody's rights. Will a Ruto administration crack down, like many other leaders in Africa, on the homosexual LGBTQ community? Or will you allow them their human rights and their civil rights? I think on that subject, President Kenyatta was spot on. We do not want to create a mountain out of a molehill. This is not a, a big issue for the people of Kenya. When, the people of, when it becomes a big issue for the people of Kenya, the people of Kenya will make a choice. As it is now, we are grappling with five million young people who do not have jobs, four million people who are hungry, and that is my concern. That is the focus of the people of Kenya at the moment. As you saw, CNN tried to corner the president-elect. And the funny thing is, he's not even the president yet. He's going to be sworn in, um, I believe, this week. So for them to get an exclusive interview and their priority and their first question and the pressing issue is that when Kenya is working on a lot of things right now, there are so many priorities that need to be addressed. Like this president-elect has so many things that he need to do starting from making sure that everybody eats making sure that um, people deal with inflation um, in the best way possible making sure that there's better public schools making sure that there's better infrastructure better medication University students are sitting here depressed because of unemployment. As a president he has to deal with a lot right now and like none of that was being addressed. The main priority for CNN, which means CNN represents the Western world, is that issue. For now, Africa is grappling with a lot right now and we're trying to get out of the situation that we are in and for them to push us into prioritizing something that is a priority for them, it just shows how, you know, superior they think they are. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. I am Angel Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. 
Hey family, make sure you join us on the new and improved African diaspora news.org. Now it is our uncensored and raw truth website. We have to make sure to have our own website because on social media platforms, they do have rules and at any time they could change a rule and shut a whole genre down. Now that would not happen to us because on African diaspora news.org, we could speak the truth. We don't have to hold back. So make sure you join our website today.